Today I'm with Mark Torrey from Defense Metals. Mark, congratulations for becoming the new CEO for Defense Metals. Thank you, Tracy. Yeah, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's almost been, what, nine months, a year since you joined? Nearly nine, yeah. Nine months. Started January. And you have a significant background in rare earths. How did they talk you into joining Defense Metals? Oh, they didn't have to do much talking. Um, I've obviously analysed a lot of projects around the world um, you know, over the 10 years I've been in rare earths and as when I did my due diligence after I got a tap on the shoulder for this job, um, I realised it was one of the best projects that's, that's out there globally and wanted to be part of it and wanted to, wanted to lead it uh, into production. And since you've joined the team, you brought on other new people, can you comment on that? Um, yes, we've got um, David Baker who's come on board as our CFO in the past six weeks, um, which brings a wealth of experience in resources as well as financing, which is great, um, and still looking to really build the team uh, from there. I want to go back to the competitive reasons why you joined Defence Metals. I like to tell people on Investor Talks, tell us the top three reasons you should drop everything now and go do your due diligence on this company's stock. What would you tell me? Uh, well, number one, um, you know, it's one of those few projects globally that has the mineralisation that's able to produce a 50% concentrate grade, which puts it in the, in the same league as the Linus's MP materials of the world, as well as the Chinese uh, light rare earth companies. Um, we're the only company that we know of in North America that actually has reserves, not just resources. And that comes on the back of the, the really positive PFS that we completed uh, in February this year. And what about uh, offtake agreements? You must have everybody knocking on your door. <laughs> We've got an MOU with an unnamed um, offtaker that's non-Chinese. Um, and yes, there's, there's a number of people knocking on the door in relation to offtake and we're obviously very open to discussions. So new management, new leadership, and with expertise, a veteran in the industry, then you come in and now you're cleaning up the balance on the company, I think is what I've read recently. Um, yeah, in our last capital raise, um, because we raised $5.4 million, we're able to automatically convert the, the $4 million worth of convertible debt we had on our balance sheet. Um, so now we're totally debt free and, and looking forward to continuing to be debt free for a while. <laughs> And I read a quote from you where you said, this is the best new rare earth project in North America. Why? Um, for the reasons I've just explained. Um, you know, it's one of the very few um, resources globally that can produce a 50% concentrate grade. And that's not because you know, we're any smarter than anyone else, but it's just mother nature um, blessing us with, with the type of mineralization that we have. And, and just to go through a simple beneficiation process and a simple float circuit to get us to that 50% grade. And that obviously means that you have a smaller hydromet plant, lower costs, lower capital costs, etc. And so what should shareholders, now that you've discussed, you've raised money, you've cleaned up the, the balance sheet, and you've got new members on your team, what should shareholders be looking forward to next? Um, look, we're going through some optimization studies right now in relation to the PFS to try and reduce both capital and operating costs um, on our flow sheet. And then we're looking to get into starting our bankable feasibility study in the first six months of next year. Well, for everybody out there interested in finding out more about Defence Metals, please go to the following website. Thank you.